In this modern era, when international cooperation in space is routine, it may well be difficult to appreciate the role of those nations who once straddled the line drawn by the world's first two space powers, the United States and the Soviet Union. At the height of the Cold War, as the rivalry between the U.S. and the USSR led to the two nations' first attempts to explore outer space and to the launch of the first human space flights, a third nation sought its own way into the heavens. On November 26, 1965, France launched the experimental Asterix satellite atop the French Diamant launch vehicle thereby establishing France as the third country ever to develop the capability of launching its own spacecraft. The path into space would be more difficult, however, for the nation's human space travelers. Successive generations of French political leaders carefully navigated the difficult terrain of simultaneous cooperation with the American and Russian space programs, in the hope of one day realizing an opportunity for a French citizen to fly in space. The breakthrough flight finally took place nearly two decades after the accomplishment of the country's first satellite launch. Jean-Luc Chrétien became the first French cosmonaut to fly in space when he lifted off aboard the Soviet Soyuz T-6 spacecraft on June 24, 1982. His flight was followed by French astronaut Patrick Baudry, who traveled into orbit on the U.S. Space Shuttle Discovery on June 17, 1985, as a member of the STS-51G crew. Chrétien would also have the honor of making the first spacewalk ever conducted by an individual from a country other than the United States or the Soviet Union, when he and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Volkov spent nearly six hours outside the Russian space station Mir on December 9, 1988. And when one considers just how narrow the way into space was for those outside the U.S. and Russian programs during the first four decades of the space age, it may well be that the true scope of the accomplishments of France's national space program is best represented by the remarkable career of Claudie Hagner. On August 17, 1996, Hagner became the first French woman to fly in space. As part of a series of cooperative human space flights conducted by France and Russia, she traveled to the Mir space station where she conducted a program of scientific experiments. She would fly in space again in October 2001 when she visited the International Space Station to carry out the first ISS science mission designed by the European Space Agency. Even before her first flight, however, Hagner's life had provided an inspiring example of high achievement. A medical doctor with specialized training in rheumatology, aeronautical and space medicine, and biology and sports medicine, she had also earned a diploma in the biomechanics and physiology of movement and a second doctorate in neuroscience. Her career as a space explorer would realize the dream of spaceflight for women around the globe and further burnish the accolades of her nation's space program. But it would also serve as an ultimate proof of the value of dedicated study and a life devoted to excellence.